Herod loses his head. Is that title right? Didn't they make a mistake? Isn't it John the Baptist who loses his head? There's something wrong here. Salve Maria! In today's Gospel, we have the famous scene of the martyrdom of St. John the Baptist. We have two figures, two main figures in this scene, St. John the Baptist himself and Herod. Herod, a king, he has a lot of power, he has a lot of wealth, but he's a slave to his passions. And because of that, he's a slave to a woman. On the other hand, we have St. John the Baptist, who is a saint. He made himself one with the law of God in such a way that he says to Herod, it is not lawful for you to have her. Even when he, St. John the Baptist, is put in prison, he doesn't let himself be frightened and he doesn't go away from the law but he continues one with the law of God. Herod, on the other hand, moved by his passions, a slave to his passions, is unable to have that control over himself. He is very fickle. He likes to hear St. John the Baptist, but at the same time, he, gets, he feels his conscience pricked by his observance of the law. He fears the people in, ca in the case that he would like to kill St. John the Baptist. But at the same time, he doesn't have the courage to let St. John the Baptist be free. He puts St. John the Baptist into prison, and yet he lets himself be dominated by a young girl who is part of a scene worked up by her mother to kill St. John the Baptist. And so he moves from, he gets distressed he likes St. John the Baptist, he gets sad, he's happy, he's euphoric, he's depressed. That's what happens to those who are slaves of their passions. They lose their head. They have no peace, not only in this life, but then for all eternity. St. John the Baptist, on the other hand, he even loses his head, but he's victorious nonetheless. In such a way that even after his death, Herod still has his conscience in turmoil. And at the first opportunity, when someone else appears, our Lord Jesus Christ, working miracles, Herod's conscience tells him that that perhaps is John the Baptist who was raised from the dead. He says, this man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead and that is why mighty powers are at work in him. So there we have Herod, troubled before, troubled during the killing of John the Baptist and troubled ever after. Herod is the one who really lost his head. St. John the Baptist was the master of himself. He had true peace, he had true courage, all through this whole story and forever. Till the end of the world, we'll have people saying, St. John the Baptist, pray for us. Herod will always be a symbol of those who are dragged by their passions. So don't lose your head. Be like St. John the Baptist. Follow the law of God. You will have true peace. You will have true security now and forever. By the intercession of Mary Most Holy, may the blessing of Almighty God accompany you and all your family the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.